The story of Korah's rebellion from Numbers chapter 16 and 17. Korah was a member of one of the Israelites and a leader, but he led a rebellion, which means he was not happy with the way things God had established them, and he was not happy with the leadership of Moses. But Moses had been an amazing leader with his brother Aaron. He had led them out of the promised land, but now Korah and some individuals were not happy, and they thought they had a better idea than God did. The Bible tells us that Korah and 250 men, 250 leaders, were insolent. Insolent means they just had had enough and they thought they knew better. They were in, insolent and approached Moses. Korah, as a leader, told Moses, we should lead. And Moses was so struck in the heart because he knew God was the one who had called him from the burning bush. God was the one who had placed him and told him to lead this is a rebellion not against Moses, but against God. So the Bible tells us that Moses fell down. He was just so hurt. He fell down and he said, let the Lord decide, Korah. And he challenged them. He said, bring some censers, pots filled with sweet-smelling um, sweet uh, incense to burn. Bring those before the Lord and the Lord will show us. Who should lead? He had that as a plan that maybe that would solve it. It wouldn't be so bad. But when the Lord came, those individuals, Korah and his friends, wouldn't show up. They wouldn't do it. So again, Moses told Korah, bring the censers. Come before the Lord. Let the Lord decide. But the Lord had had enough. The Lord told Moses and all of Israel who was with him to get away from Korah and the other men and their families. And Moses told everybody, if God does something unusual, something that has never happened before, then you'll know that this is God's judgment and who he wants to lead. See, the sin of these men was very great. They had rebelled against the Lord, and God did something he never did before and never did after. The earth itself opened up, and all of the tents of Korah and their families and the leaders fell right in, and the Lord sent a fireball and it consumed all of them. What a devastating day. But God showed that he is the one who established that order for Moses and his people. But the people still did not follow. In fact, the Lord sent a plague and people were dying. So God had Moses do one more thing to try to tell people that he is the one who established Moses and Aaron as leaders. They took a staff, from one from each of the tribes of Israel, including Aaron's staff, and they put it in the tabernacle. And they said it there. And the next day when they went, Aaron's staff alone had budded and had showed everybody, as God had promised, the one whose staff buds is the one he wants being the high priest. And God established his leadership. People rebelled. Korah and people rebelled against Moses and Aaron in the same way people still rebel against God's authority. But just like God had established Moses and Aaron, God would ultimately establish Jesus to come and be the prophet, priest, and king and be a savior for all the people who have rebellious hearts and insolent hearts like Korah and the leaders we see get punished today. We see a real sad story and what sin deserves, and then we look at ourselves and see God's grace. We're like that budding staff. He gives us life and growth and leaders to call us to him. That's the account of Korah's rebellion from Numbers chapter 16 and 17.